Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dale of Dale's Leatherworks, and in front of me today are my samurai boots from my friend Artem Vovk at Wolf and Beard Bootmaker, located in Kiev, Ukraine. I really love these mock toe boots. They're super lightweight, really beautifully built. You can check out my other video. I'll leave that in the description below where I geek out on all these boots. But in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a brand new pair of boots from Golovna Ukr Ukr Poshta Ukr Poshta Golovna Poshta Kraini. Well, whatever that means, it's from the Ukraine. All right, there you have it, folks. Look at that beautiful box and packaging. I really like this tied-off cross stitch that they incorporated, along with the W and B Wolf and Beard. So this is going to be a size 42 in cowhide wax maize yellow. Wow. Oh, cool. Comes with two foam insoles. Very nice. Whoa. So these are the mock toe sneakers in maize yellow. I got to talking with Artem. The yellow really grew on me. I really, really love the mock toe that he makes, especially because he does a supporting uh, loop stitch all around the mock because this is a true mock toe in that the apron and the vamp are two separate pieces of leather. So when you fuse them together, when you, when you enjoin them and you create this, it's a standard mock toe stitch, but then they do a loop around it all along there, really reinforces it. You know, basically this is probably the strongest portion of the shoe. Really nice Vibram cup outsole. Beautiful, beautiful mock toe sneaker for the summer. This is unlike anything I've ever worn before. So I'm really excited about these in particular. Yeah, that maize yellow is so dang cool. So much fun. This will be a perfect summertime shoe. Definitely good for traveling and going on vacation and wearing in hot weather. That nice light color is going to reflect off the sunlight and keep you cool all day long. As compared to like a darker colored boot or shoe, it's going to retain a lot of the heat from the sun. So these will look really, really good with shorts too. Shorts and a tee, absolute perfection. And I really just love the vibrant pop, the sunshiny glow that these have going on. The yellow is like a really true dandelion uh, yellow. So if you were to buy these on, on his shop from Etsy, they're $210, which is a good deal for what you're getting here. Mustard yellow summer shoes for every day. These comfortable men's and women's sneakers come in sizes 37 to 41. The casual handmade summer shoe features classic mock toe uppers. Stitched white rubber sole provides comfort and durability. It's got a Vibram Striton outsole. The insole is damping latex and genuine leather. The lining material is genuine leather. The upper material is cowhide waxed leather. Worldwide delivery. And what's really cool is uh, Artem can accept individual orders. He can make some changes to his models and he can look for other leather colors. He can make customized shoe lasts for non-standard sizes. DM him or write him a personal message and they can discuss what you'd like to do. Yeah, Artem is a super nice guy. I enjoy talking to him every time Every time we message back and forth on Instagram. Really had a good time getting to know him during the Samurai Mokto boot video. This is just an insanely good sneaker build. Kind of looks similar to like a, a deck shoe or a dock shoe. Yeah, I could definitely see these at home on like a boat. Wearing these sockless with like shorts. These would make for a perfect deck shoe, especially with this grippy Vibram Striton outsole. I really emphasized the box stitch, the triple box stitch here, adjoining the quarter to the vamp slash mock area right here. This is an important area to reinforce. A lot of brands really reinforce this area and Artem is no exception. He definitely passed through that probably three times back and forth, really making sure that this area never separates. So that's really good. Only three eyelets, which is nice. Easy on and off there. Yeah, very similar to the boot, very similar build to the boot, except the shoes do not have the wolf and beard logo embossed in there, but that is definitely okay. We've got a simple back heel strip on the back 
fully lined with genuine leather. Yeah, this leather has a really nice, fine, sort of micro suede feel about it. Um, it's not overly waxed. It's got sort of a new book feel going on, and I anticipate that they will just age up beautifully. Um, as far as sizing goes, this is always the most important part. These are a size 42. I find them to run true to size. I'm a US 9 Brannock, and 42 is my EU equivalent, and uh, I wore these around. These 42s are definitely equivalent to a Red Wing 8.5. Let's compare the Wolverine 1000 Mile left boot to the left Wolf and Beard size 42. And uh, yeah, looks to me like the length is spot on. The last that Artem is using is a really nice rounded out last in the toe area. Let's do the Parkhurst size eight and a half. It's 42 Wolf and Beard. Yeah, length looks pretty much the same. Pretty sure I would have compared these in my other video. The, the Wolf and Beard looks like it might be a little shorter, but these are completely different lasts. The Wolf and Beard is a mock toe last with a bump here, and uh, mock toes are typically more boxy lasts anyways, and whereas these Parkhursts, some of this added length in the toe is gonna be cosmetic. It doesn't just cut off with a sharp wall at the front like the like the mock toes do. But Viberg 2040 last, size eight, wolf and beard, size 42. Looks pretty spot on to me. Alden Indy. Size eight and a half, wolf and beard. Size 42, looks like the Indy is about a half size longer, though my Indy size I realize should be an 8E. I could drop my Indy size down to an 8E. Thursday boots, eight and a half. Wolf and beard, size 42. Looks the same to me. I think the sizing is pretty straightforward. If you go down a half for your standard US boot size, your red wing size, then stay true to size with Wolf and Beard and it'll fit basically the same. Stay true to size in terms of EU sizing that is. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. Leave me your thoughts on this incredible Ukrainian boot maker known as Wolf and Beard, AKA Artem Volk, the man behind the brand. Super cool dude. Check out his page. I will leave links to his Instagram and his Etsy in the description below. So check those out, give him a follow. He's a solid dude. Really like him a lot. And uh, he definitely appreciates the business during these trying times. <laughs> so we got to stand with the Ukraine. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Huge thanks to Artem for these amazing shoes. I'm Dale of Dale's Leatherworks. I will see you all in my next video.